guys uh, doing some laundry at my parents' house because I don't have a washer dryer. I've been playing with my AK too. I always bring toys with me when I go to my parents' house because it's pretty boring there. So I brought my AK, my Yugo M70 AB2, and I'm just gonna do a quick video and showing you uh, three different reload methods. So basically, number one is the standard easy one. You know, you're firing, you're firing, firing, you're out. Take it, toss it, or you can retain it if you've got a, a pouch, and that's standard. Um, next one is a little bit quicker, where you're firing, you're firing, firing, you're out, you reach down, grab your next one, take your mag, and hit the old one away, and and, you know, charge it. The last one is <laughs> the stupidest, and maybe it's just because I'm a big wuss, but I find it ridiculous. I think it's called uh, is it the, the Iraqi Reload, or the Israeli, I think it's the Iraqi Reload, where you're firing, let me get this set up here real quick. Eh. Don't need to be showing that. So you're firing, you're firing, you're firing, you're out. So you pull back, take out the old one, put the new one in, and you're ready to go. Uh, the reason why I hate that one is because <laughs> AKs aren't very light. So if you're sitting here holding this against your body and people are shooting at you, you're going to be moving around. And the more you move around, the more this moves, the more you could drop it or, you know, get killed because you're standing there just motionless while you're being shot at. So it's a pretty worthless reload. I mean, it works, it'll reload it, it'll have one in the pipe so you can keep firing, but it's pretty incredibly stupid to do. Uh, the traditional one and, I don't know, we call it the quick reload, are, in my opinion, the best. I'm going to try and do like a close-up here of, of how I do the, the quick one. Um, when you have your other mag that you're going to install in there, take it, put it right up against the, the mag release, push it forward, push the mag forward, falls away, and then you can insert your next one. Um, that's a quick one. I like that one. It, however, doesn't allow you to retain the magazine, which is sometimes necessary, so... You have to keep that in mind if you're going to do that reload that you're going to be dropping your mags to the ground and if you might need them later, you might not be able to get to them. You might, you know, have to move, change cover, and uh, that's why the standard one works pretty good because what you can do is you can, when you're done, you pull it. If you have a dump pouch on your back, you can put it in your dump pouch or hell, you can even tuck it in your waistband if you've got room in your pants, whatever, pull out your new one, put it in, I'm having troubles with this, put it in, and then recharge, well, that was my bolt hold open one, so, that's, getting caught on my shirt, and that's basically um, three ways you can reload your AK, and uh, all of them work. Some just work a shit ton better than the other ones. <laughs> I, I don't understand why. Apparently, the, the Iraqi one, where you hold it against yourself, so you, this is what you're doing. You're, the force from you holding the, the uh, bolt open is pushing it against your shoulder, and then you remove, grab your new, put it in, and then release. Um, so many stupid things with that one. Don't don't use that one. But apparently that one's taught to their military. Kind of stupid. Anyways, just wanted to throw out a quick video on that. Um, I've been playing a lot with my Yugo M70 because I got it back kind of recently. And I'm just re-familiarizing myself with it. I only had it for a couple months before I had to go into the gunsmith. And then he had it for... Uh, ten and a half months 
fucker. Um, <laughs> not, not only that, I bought it from the guy, the gun, or the gun shop, and it took him ten and a half months for a customer um, that purchased the gun there. I can see, well, I can't really see, uh, if it was somebody that brought in a random gun that they didn't purchase from him, but this was my first purchase from him, and uh, my last purchase from him. I will not go back and purchase another gun from him. So, um, support your local gun stores, but if they don't run a good business, don't fucking support them. I, I'm sorry, but if you have somebody's rifle for ten and a half months, hire some fucking help to get shit pushed through. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed um, seeing those new reloads, or different reloads, and uh, basically, I guess, if you're new to the AK platform altogether, I'll just show you what the the normal one is up close. So you have your mag in here. How to get rid of? Let me get in a position. How to release the mag is you push this little lever here, push it forward, and then kind of go forward and down, and then that releases your magazine. And then how to load it is front end first. <laughs> I look like a turd doing this. There, front end in first, and then push it back. So, I need some practice on finding my mag well. And this is the stuff that you can do to practice at home, is just sit here and, you know, pull it out, try and not look at the gun itself, and try and reload it. Those kind of things will, you know, muscle memory is key. So, the more more times you do shit like that, um, the better your muscle memory will get. And honestly, if you're carrying a huge AK, or not huge AK, but a heavier AK, you'll build more arm strength and dexterity so that you'll be able to hold it longer. What are you doing, doggy? He just wants to be cuddled. Um, but yeah, so you want to practice doing that kind of stuff quite frequently. Same thing with your pistols. You know, practice drawing and finding your sights. The more you do it, the more you find your sights faster, and, uh, you know, the more you'll be on target. So, little tricks, little tips, things you can do at home when you're not on the range. Um, don't do it with loaded mags, preferably because you don't want to shoot a hole through your house. Been there, done that. No, I haven't. I haven't shot a hole in anything except for paper and pumpkins. Uh, hopefully some tannerite soon. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. That's all I got for you.